Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about the OR Boolean operator. So the OR Boolean operator also combines two expressions. The difference is that if either of the expression expressions evaluates to true, then the record is going to be a part of the result set. Otherwise, if both expressions are true, then of course, then both uh, then those rows are going to be part of the result set. The only case that we are not going to get any res results is if both expressions are false. We know that from our Python Boolean operators, the knowledge, we know that OR is going to look at both sides. If even one side, if let's say side one is correct, side two is incorrect, uh, side one is true side sorry side one is true and side two is false it is going to return that side one if side one is false and side two is true then it is going to return that true part this entire boolean is going to return true but if side one and side two both of them are false then nothing there is nothing in the result set and if side one and side two both of them are true then of course both of them are in the result set so I'm going to say select. The idea is the same as we, we have studied in Python. Then I'm going to say from employees, employees, and I'm going to alias it as E. Then we are going to say where. Now let's say E dot salary is less than 5,000. I want to grab all the employees whose salary is less than 5,000 or their salary is like greater than 15,000. And now if I come here and if I say E dot, what do I want to get? I want to get the first name. I want to grab their uh, last name. And let's say I want to grab their email address as well. Maybe I'm giving them a raise. So E dot, so I'm going to say email. Uh, is it email or is it email address? So let's take a look at it. It's email. Perfect. So we have email here. So when I save it, we know how this is going to work, right? I'm not going to explain it any further. So if I click on it, you can see 15 rows returned. These are the people whose salary is either less than 5,000 or greater than 15,000. To make sure that we are on the right path, we can print the salary as well. So let's save that let's run it there we go so it's you're not going to get like six thousand ten thousand twelve thousand so it's either less than five or greater than fifteen thousand that's it for this lecture see you in the next one